Hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Sangeeta and my handle is Sangeeta Creates and I'm here to doodle my day with Zen Sangam as you can see. So as you can see uh you the materials required for today is any kind of paper. You can use a sketchbook like this or you can use any kind of uh paper as well. depending on what's available with you so i am using the artist heavyweight mixed media paper by zen sangam these papers are multifunctional you can use them with acrylics water paints and pen of course the supplies for today's artwork you will need any kind of pencil the choice is yours between a pen pencil or a regular pencil an eraser fine liners or sketch pens whatever you have available with you Okay those are the supplies paper pencil fine liners or sketch pen my preference is black so i have gone with a black fine liner if anyone here wants to use uh, another fine liner you're welcome to do so so any kind of black pen works so this is what we'll be working on today so our topic is coffee and art Okay so we'll be doodling uh, a lot of knickknacks related to coffee and also art specifically we've gone with all our favorite stationeries here so you can use this as a coloring page you can use this to to put it in your journal and uh, let's begin let's go so like i mentioned before i'm going to go ahead with the, the mixed media paper by zen sangam so if you're comfortable you can draw it with your pen directly by but my recommendation would be to use your pencil and then go ahead and ink your work ink your work meaning you can outline it using your uh fine liners or whatever pen you're using so our art is artwork is centered our doodle is centered around art and coffee so let's start by writing these two words so that you can spread out and make these doodles around them all right roughly you can find the center doodle is all about fun right so we don't want to have a lot of measurements and things like that so just roughly somewhere in the center you can start with the word art so we are writing in basic block capital letter all right so let's go with art a so we've just put a line so let's start by writing the word art so as you can see i've not written it in a straight line so i have gone ahead and uh, written it in a fun format so you can choose any font you like So we've gone ahead with the letter A. I hope that was easy to follow. And then R, overlapping the A with the R. A R and T. Okay. And then we will write the and word. uh the word and here just regular cursive so we can go ahead and write this directly with pen make sure just write it so that you you leave enough place that's it and is just our regular cursive if you want to write it in any other font you're welcome now we move on to the word coffee right it's the same block letter as the word r the highlight of this lies in the o because we are going to make the o look like a coffee seed so just make a oval for the o and draw these zigzag kind of lines draw an oval and draw these zigzag lines and another set of zigzag lines a line at the back like that so this looks like a coffee seed c o so 
while you're writing the words, it's always nice to uh, keep spelling it out loud because sometimes we are so we are concentrating so much on how the font should look that sometimes we forget the spelling. So they need not all be of the same size. It's doodling, so you are having fun. So if you can see, the E is larger, the C is slightly uh, smaller. So all that's fun. And we are done. This is like the building block for all the doodles that you're going to put. All the doodles are going to surround these words. Let's start off with a simple coffee mug. So again, you can follow my drawing precisely because I've already placed them and it will be easier. If at all you want to change the elements in the picture, that means if you want to put the mug here instead of here, you can do that. Okay, so I am going to put the mug next to the C uh, mug of coffee. So how do we draw a mug? It is very simple. Doodle is nothing but simplifying a drawing, right? So let's draw a simple rectangle here, which is half hidden by the C. So you've drawn a rectangle here. You can draw a bigger coffee mug also. Then you are going to put an o, a C, a very thin kind of a C like that. Here at the top. Then you can add the handle of the cup. They're nothing but C, the alphabet C. Two of them together. One is smaller, the other one is bigger. If you want to add a little bit of a smoothness into the cup here, it, this has a sharp edge, right? So just curve it slightly. It'll give it a smoother bend. All our cups have a smoother finish, right? So you can do that. So here within the cup, the design, if you want to mimic your coffee mug, you can. Or if you want to put a heart, you can. I'm just going to make the coffee uh, seed again. The C is covering up the seed. So just part of it is visible like that. And it's a steaming cup of coffee. So you add the steam by drawing the lines upward. That Okay. And as you can see, there's a line within which indicates, which shows that there is coffee inside. You can draw this line. Here, like so. When we are coloring it or when you're inking it, it'll get covered like that. Then next, we're going to draw our stainless steel tumblers. Some of us prefer mugs and some of us prefer the tumblers. You have the tumbler and the base wherein you uh, make the coffee, you know, uh, warm enough so that you can drink it. So for that, draw a bowl like thing like that so this is mug okay that's usually in ceramic or whatever other materials that you get in off late this one you're trying to show the tumbler the original stainless steel one okay and again draw a oval here at the top to indicate or to show the cup like that coffee again this is like a indianized version of a cup and a saucer so next we draw cubes of sugar um what you do is draw square draw a square that shows that the cube is facing you okay then you can draw another this will remind you of your math class i suppose draw a cube how do you draw that Sl draw it slightly towards the side draw it slightly towards the side like so and then Bring down lines and then join them. That will look like a cube. So you can, those who prefer sugar with their coffee, this is for them. This you can add or reduce depending on how much uh, you want, how many uh, sugar cubes you want to show. The doodles are very shape based. The minute you reduce all your drawings to shapes, it's very easy for you to. Um, draw it gets a little less intimidating then you are going to draw filter coffee those who are from the south if at all you have 
you get different filters across so this is that filter okay so it's a rectangle again let's draw the lid for doodling you just need to uh, draw the important elements like to catch the essence of an object you're trying to show we don't need to go into too much detail so these kind of lines add like a nice comical touch to doodles okay this is the filter for those who prefer filter coffee this is how it will look you can spread out the images also if you want if you want to spread out the image in the bottom half of the word coffee you can do that or you can keep them all clustered together like how i have done it next uh, i hope you all have heard of the chocolate copico right the minute you think of coffee uh, for me copico is very uh, synonymous with coffee so it's one of those candies who've perfected so how will you draw a candy again very simple draw a rectangle right and with doodles the size is not uh, proportional you might think the filter is so small but the candy is big so that depends on how you want to show in your doodle okay so if you want to make the filter larger you can if you want to like fill the paper up completely just increase the size of all the images that i'm showing and it'll do the trick then draw a line like that and just draw these zigzag lines then then you can draw lines towards the signs and i'm just going to write the candy's name if you don't want to write the name you don't have to you don't have to write it in block just write it in regular so the next one since we are already drawing candies let's draw a coffee bite so a coffee bite is very similar to how you drew the uh, sugar cube so draw just below this candy that you've already drawn a line and a line that comes out like this okay please extend the same way like how we drew the uh, sugar cube okay and then connect them don't connect here as of now because they come in that twisted wrapper no so here we just do that twisted wrapper part of it is visible because the other half is uh, hidden below this candy is our assumption then here you can do the same just do that twisting candy wrap then you can write the word coffee bite so it would help if our pencils are sharpened for doodles because these are all tiny tiny drawings then let's do a filter again this is a different kind of filter coffee filter a curve it's like the capital letter d put upside down it pretty much looks like a blender this particular filter coffee filter and you're drawing two lines that are coming inward not going outward coming inward join them this looks this has an hourglass shape and goes outward and you put a spout here so the filter falls out from that place is what we're indicating and a handle okay and the details here are just these lines that are made on the and again we are adding lines like that if you prefer parleji biscuit with so i have drawn parleji biscuits okay so let's get to that again you can place the biscuit if you have limited space on this side and we still have to do these you can shift these small small things to another side so for example i am going to write draw them this side now draw a small rectangle
So you're basically doodling all the elements and the things that are associated with coffee. And I've made another rectangle within and draw these dashes or they are dashes, not dots. Like so. And I've written the biscuit's name. This can be any biscuit, literally. If you make a circular biscuit, that's also fine. A cookie or a mari biscuit or whatever is your preference. Okay. One of the popular instant coffee brands. You can just draw a coffee, instant coffee jar. It could be any brand. So this is the lid for the glass or the plastic jar. So I've just put a couple of lines towards the side and here showing that the coffee is up till there. And on the lid, you can draw these standing lines to show the grooves on the lid. Okay. So here on the side, I'm just going to put a gunny bag or a sack showing coffee seeds. So I've just put like that a line like so. And like that, these are like curvy lines. And then this is like, this is easy again. Just draw different sizes of like a U. And put a line in between showing the seed. Right? Then a lot of us have the habit of reading a newspaper our newspapers along with our coffee. So a line and just slightly curve them. This newspaper is quite well hidden at the back. Like that. See, you can draw this line all the way till here also to extend the newspaper below as well. If you want, that's optional. Then we are just going to draw another line at the back to show that there are a couple more pages in the paper. And then whatever you want to write. Then zigzag lines are always the way to go to show some content is written. A spoon here just to show a spoonful of coffee. Then let's draw the last. We're going to draw a takeaway cup of coffee. This way. And this is the heat protection sleeve. All right. You can write whatever takeaway coffee brand you prefer. Starbucks is there and so many more. The simplest would be the seed of the coffee again. And as fillers, if you feel there's a little bit of a free space, you want to fill up the gaps, you can always draw the seeds. You can draw a couple more here and there, depending on where you think there's a lot of uh, space on your picture. If there isn't any space, you can absolutely skip this. So we're done with this. Like I mentioned, if at all you feel there's a bit of empty space in your picture, feel free to draw these coffee seeds. You can also draw desserts if you prefer a particular coffee flavored cupcake or a coffee flavored cake. You can also draw that. I'll just show you one dessert so that those who have space can do it. Um, let's go with the cupcake. It's a shape like that. Curve. And a curve. And a cherry on top. So for me, I will... I think the coffee side is complete. Okay, like I mentioned, if you have more space, make it personalized. 
add things that you associate with coffee i am going to move on to the art section last element here for coffee leaf the coffee leaf the seeds of the cup of coffee on the plant the inking for all of this is very simple yeah me uh, here you won't be shading a lot or coloring you can color it later on so you can just outline the whole thing here for the art we are drawing a crayon first it's flat here it's a rectangle and you're going to draw a triangle or a v and just show a scribble there it adds a nice touch so you can draw all the things that you associate with art again then from the a from here just draw a line like this i have drawn the line below the a also a little bit a line here brush so this is the br uh, bristles lines and this here zigzag shows that it's dipped in paint and here are a couple of drops of paint splattering out of the brush then draw the palette circle here is to put the thumb through and here you're just showing blobs of color so we are done with three elements uh so a scale so this is your ruler or your scale if you want you can add the numbers as well a pen just draw a long this looks like a chalk if you want to include it as a chalk you can leave it like this all you have to do is put a curve there it will become chalk piece since you're working on a pen what we are going to do is add a curve here that makes the cap and an l shape and a thinner two parallel lines or the number 11 to show the refill of the pen please don't forget to tag zen sangam once you've completed this the pen is done next one of the most important things in art pencil very similar to the pen that you drew so because there are so many elements here we are assuming that the pen pencil is covered here behind these two and the t so you only have to draw this to show the sharpened edges like the zigzag you can put like this v again and the tip of the pencil yeah and lines in regards to the art elements all are very shape based very easy to follow then let's draw glue the glue tubes or you can even draw the the roll up ones also i am drawing the so it's just a shape like this with a curve on top So since we are focusing on stationery in regards to art we are drawing all the stationery items and the nozzle for the glue to come out of you can make a very busy page as in fill it from end to end you can add designs in it or you can leave uh, gaps it depends on uh, the preferences from people to people then we are going to draw the tube for a squeezed out paint tube it can be acrylic watercolor So we're going to draw like that. So just to indicate that it's been uh, squeezed a little bit. Yes. Then smaller line like this, and then 
draw the paint just to show that it's coming out of the tube and you can just scribble to show the information written okay so that's done and finally we are going to uh, draw the sketchbook so draw a nice big rectangle and draw these circles right and then curve it out like a hook this shows a spiral binding that most sketchbooks come with like this this is what they're trying to show so show the spiral and here from here just draw a longer line and then you can just draw lines inside to show more papers with it you can go one step further and maybe draw a small piece of whatever you want mountain sun bird draw a very generic picture like that so that shows your sketchbook and that completes the art section if you feel that you want to add any more elements you are free to do so you can add see for example if this space is empty you feel just draw a flat brush this was a round brush same way this becomes a flat brush right and if you want you can add a small bottle paint also the same way we drew the jar of the coffee it's very very similar so now you can start with the inking you can go with any kind of black pen like i mentioned um so i have blocked out the word art and coffee i've totally covered it with the black and the rest of it i've left it just as an outline so you can cover it fully if you want or another option is leave a little bit of white on the sides because the words are all joined in a in a way if you leave this white gap uh it highlights the words if it makes sense yeah you can use sketch pen to ink or even your fine liners you can also once you're finished inking you can also take a print out of this or like a photocopy and give it to others as a coloring sheet as well so if you want to try adding colors my recommendation would be to keep the black and white as it is take a print out and you can explore the different color opportunities so that your original sometimes you are a little worried that the original shouldn't get spoiled so you can do that yeah so this is the way you're going to uh ink it in the paper i've used today again is from zen sangam so such doodles uh you can submit it for the uh, the contest that's running on zen sangam it's called doodle my day contest there will be 15 winners and uh, 
selected and it's still 24th of december so coffee is a day to day part of many of our lives okay right? so these are the kind of doodles that you can submit we finished inking it we don't need a lot of details and all that in doodles right so whatever you would like to add from here on out is left up to you that is the colors and everything so i'm going to now just add basic outlines to all of them even with coffee if anybody has space you can draw iced coffee you can draw an ice cream to indicate coffee flavored ice cream perhaps so like i said you you can show the coffee with a little bit of coloring since we are only using black pen if you want you can even add shadings with your uh, pencil so once your drawing is set in place and you're very confident with it inking is going to be a joyful process So if somebody wants to add a little bit of shading like I mentioned you can do it with your pencil or you can do it with your fine liner itself all that is optional absolutely optional so you can just do something called as cross hatching here draw lines very thin lines please don't forget to tag zen sangam with your artworks so this is a very personal choice biscuit if those who don't eat palaji the whole to include it you don't have to so the outline will be very easy once the drawing is in place right you can draw doodles directly with your pen as well the more and more you practice uh drawing these directly with your pen is going to be um uh, easy
so if you're willing you can add um, shades like that to the sack like so So you can do the same for your favorite things of the year. So if you enjoyed the doodle sessions, you can draw your favorite things from 2023 in a doodle form. Just write 2023 and draw all the things that were nice in this year for you. and zen sangam they also have a whatsapp group um they will share the link in today's uh, group chat and you can join it to get regular updates in regarding uh, various other work uh, webinars that they come up with and other details So if you are somebody who is doing art and if there is a particular style that you follow like dot mandala or um anything resin you can draw even those items to show the things that you use Those who do mandalas can also draw compass protractor those tools as well So yeah that completes our doodle for the day you can see my works even with zen uh, zen sangam so okay. you can find you can find me there and this is my handle thank you